Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about what Linux distro should I use. Well, as we know that we have a lot of distributions available for Linux and it is very hard to choose that with which one we should go and which one suits us the best. Because it is not like choosing a shoe or a piece of cloth that we can decide by the look of it. We have to consider a lot of other aspects as well. As let's say you are a programmer, so you would go with different choice. If you are going for gaming, you will have different choices. If you are going for ethical hacking, you would go with different choices. So this is how you will decide that with which one you want to go. First of all, I would talk about your hardware resources. Well, if you have a laptop that is old or have limited hardware resources, in that case, we have some particular Linux distributions that you can decide to go with. For example, you can go with Zorin OS, Linux Lite, Body Linux, Puppy Linux, Papermint OS, Lubuntu. So these are some of the choices that you can consider in terms of having an old laptop or having limited number of hardware resources. Now let's say you are a beginner and you have no idea about how to use Linux distributions and you want to try that out. So for such kind of users or for such kind of beginners, I would recommend you to go with Ubuntu, Manjaro, Fedora, etc. As these Linux distributions are relatively easy to use and you will also find a lot of help on the internet as their community and their forums are very rich and the people who are on their forums are very responsive. So it will be easier for you to start your Linux distribution journey with these Linux distributions. Now let's say you have some idea about Linux distribution and you want to choose a particular one for programming purposes. Well, for that purpose, you can decide to go with Manjaro, Fedora, CentOS, Art Linux, Ubuntu, etc. As you will find your needed packages very easily with these Linux distribution. As we know that for programming languages, for example, we have Python, Java, and other programming languages, we need to have different kind of libraries and packages. So it is very important to know and very important to have such needed packages and libraries in those Linux distribution that we are going to use. So the ones that I have mentioned to you will possess almost everything with respect to your needed programming packages and your libraries. Now let's say you want to try Linux distribution for your gaming. So the good news is that there are some Linux distributions that are particularly designed for gaming. And that's the beauty of Linux distributions as you will find at least one Linux distribution as per your needs. Same goes for gaming. So we have Pop OS from System76, we have Manjaro, we have Gruda Linux, we have Drugger OS, etc. So these Linux distributions are primarily designed for gaming as they come with pre-installed drivers and they come with the support of different hardware resources that are required for gaming. For example, Pop OS comes with the NVIDIA support by default. Now, let's say you are an experienced user with Linux distribution. Now you want to try some Linux distribution for ethical hacking or networking or some this kind of stuff. So for that purpose, we also have some of the Linux distributions. For example, we have Parrot OS, Backbox, Black Arc, we have Kali Linux, etc. As these Linux distribution comes preloaded with all those necessary tools that you will require to have in order to do your networking, ethical hacking, etc. At the end, I would talk about one aspect and that is your desktop environment. As different Linux distributions offer you to have different desktop environment. For example, we have Genome desktop environment, KDE, XFCE, etc. So let's say you want to try some Linux distribution with KDE desktop environment. For that purpose, you can go with Kubuntu, Arch Linux, Fedora Linux, etc. In terms of XFCE, you can consider to go with Ubuntu Mate, Papermint OS, Zorin OX, Zubuntu, etc. So these are some of the choices that you can consider to go with. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So you have seen till now that how much choices we have in order to choose a particular Linux distribution, even if we are beginner or even if we are a power user. 
and that's the beauty of Linux distribution that it always has a Linux distribution that matches our requirement. So if you have liked watching this video, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.